ฮัลโหลสวัสดีครับฮัลโหลครับวันนี้ครับเป็นไงวันนี้เรียนอะไรดีวันนี้เรียนอะไรดีอ่ะให้เลือกก่อนว่าสปีกิ้งกับไม่ใช่สปีกิ้งอะดีตัวนี้เนาะเราดิสคัสไปก่อนแล้วกันไหนๆก็มาแล้วพร้อมปะหรือว่าจะเอาลิสต์นิ่งก่อนโอเอาเอาลิสต์นิ่งก่อนก็ได้ครับเอาลิสต์นิ่งก่อนนะครับโอเคอายุเลือกเองนะไอไม่ได้เลือกนะครับแต่ว่าขอยากๆนะครับ today updated วันนี้วันที่สี่ปะใช่เดี๋ยวพี่เปิดให้ก่อนนะครับพร้อมแล้วบอกนะฮะโอเคลองดูนะ one two three go You will hear a telephone conversation between a male insurance agent and a female client who wants to make changes to her policy. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Good morning, Tauber Insurance Company. How can I help you? Good morning. I want to alter my insurance policy. Is that for your house, contents, or vehicle? My vehicle. Can you give me the number of the policy, please? Certainly, I have it here in front of me. It's ZQW five o o nine. And what make and model of car is it? It's a Mazda, a Mazda Marvel. And what's the CC rating? Sorry, what do you mean? How big is the engine? Is it one thousand five hundred or one thousand eight hundred CC, for example? Oh, that! It's actually much bigger than that. It's two thousand five hundred cc. Thank you. Now I just have to ask you a few questions to verify your identity. What name is the policy under? Heathcote. Let me just bring that up on the computer. Yes. Can I just confirm your first name, please? Well, my first name is Lisa, but I'm known by my middle name, Marie. Right. I see both here, but Lisa is the one I want for ID purposes. And your date of birth, Lisa. I mean, Marie. The twenty-second of August, nineteen fifty-five. Correct. Just one more question before we get started. Can you remember the password on this policy? Oh dear, I didn't know I had a password on it. Everyone has a password. Would you like to take a guess? Possibly, it's my mother's name. And what would that be? Sophia. Sorry, guess again. All right. Oh, I remember now. It's my grandfather's name, Jack. Yes, followed by some numbers. One eight nine seven, right? Correct. Now we can get down to business. What exactly do you want to change? Well, a couple of things. Firstly, I think it's overvalued at the moment. Can we reduce the value by five thousand dollars? You mean bring it down to fifteen thousand dollars? Yes, I'm sure it's lost quite a bit of value over the past year. Done. Now, what's the other thing? 
Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Well, I want to add the name of another driver to my insurance policy. Who is it? His name is Samuel Michaels. He doesn't have the same family name as you. No, he doesn't. Is that a problem? No, it shouldn't be, as long as he's over the age of 25. But we find it easier to get approval for family members. Oh, he is family. He's married to my daughter. He's my son-in-law, and he's 28, in fact. Good. And what would he be using the car for? Would it be business or social purposes? Not really. You see, I've injured my right arm, and I'm having difficulty driving. It's not an automatic. I have to use the gear stick. And Sam, that is Samuel, offered to drive me to my appointments and so on. He's a good driver, and I feel safe with him but I'd like to know that the car is still insured with him behind the wheel. So that would be family reasons, then? Yes, I think so. Will my premium go up? No, as long as you can provide us with a photocopy of his driver's licence. A true copy. You know what I mean. You'll have to get someone from the Department of Transport to sign it, saying that he's seen the original document. I think we can manage that without any difficulty. Oh, and while he's at the department... He should ask them for a record of any driving offences, demerit points, that kind of thing. Only for the last five years, though. We're not interested in anything beyond that, but it's important that he has a clean record for the five previous years. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Is there anything else you need? Just the date for when you'd like this to take effect. Today, if that's possible. Yes. We can issue temporary cover from today's date but full cover won't apply until we've received the paperwork and it's been approved. What exactly is temporary? He'll be covered for two full weeks, but it will lapse after that time if there's any problem with his credentials. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part two. Part two. You will hear a counsellor from health services talking about confidence and goal setting. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 16. Listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. Hello, I'm Jo from Health Services and I'm pleased to be here talking to you today. You've come here today to learn more about gaining confidence and setting goals. How many of you are truly positive thinkers? Positive thinking is the key to confidence. It doesn't matter whether you are playing a sports match, facing an interview or preparing for an exam. If you apply positive thinking, you will gain confidence. This is the secret. Positive thought patterns. Positivity leads to confidence, which, in turn, will optimize your performance. What is the one simple mental strategy that all confident people have in common? They concentrate on success. But don't they ever fail? Don't they make mistakes? What happens when things go wrong? The crucial difference is that they don't dwell on failure. Everybody makes mistakes. I mean, how else do we learn? Rather than giving up or becoming depressed, the best strategy is to register the mistake, note what went wrong, 
and determine what would have been a better way to act or what could have been done differently in order to achieve a more successful outcome. Then move on. Yes, erase the negative emotions, allow those memories of defeat, frustration or dissatisfaction to fade and move forward. Negativity erodes confidence. You need to put aside your disappointments and focus on successful outcomes. Oh, it's not that easy, I can hear you saying. Well, no, it's not easy to forget failure, but no one ever fails completely, so congratulate yourself on the areas where you did do well. Mentally replay the best bits, even if they're only a small part. Now, there are two more things you need to do. Firstly, rehearsal. Yes, you heard me. Rehearsal. Surely only actors in a play need to rehearse their parts? No, the truth is, we all need to rehearse. This is a surefire way to build confidence. Before the match, presentation, the exam, or whatever, imagine yourself performing successfully in that particular situation. And here's the second tip. Look confident. That will always give you an extra physiological advantage. So you can see that mind and body work together on this. You have to think and act positively. Let's talk a bit more about how to look confident. If you have to overcome a challenge, get rid of that anxious expression and rigid posture, those downcast eyes and nervous gestures. Even if you don't feel very self-assured, you can still give the appearance of confidence. Stand tall, hold your head up, make full eye contact and keep an open expression. Replace the frown with a smile if you can manage it. And those hunched shoulders, relax those shoulder muscles. If you need to, take a deep breath and stretch to release pent up anxiety and tension. What if you have to make a difficult phone call, for example? Nobody can actually see you, so does it matter what you look like? Yes, it does. Practicing positive body language will help you cross the threshold into a confident mood. Before we move on to talk about goal setting, it may surprise you to know that once you have set a goal in life, the brain responds with a burst of activity, which we experience as, that's right, happiness. And what happens when the goal is achieved? Yes, there is another burst of activity and another feeling of happiness. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 17 to 20. As you can see, the recipe for a happy life is to maintain a positive attitude and keep setting and achieving your goals. So, whatever your goal, whatever it is that you're aiming for, a new job, losing weight, giving up smoking, graduation, you need an appropriate, and by appropriate, I mean achievable goal. That's the first step. The next thing to consider is motivation. How do you get going? Well, it's more likely to motivate you if you think of the rewards of success rather than focus on failure or what you might lose. So you need to establish your incentives. After that, you'll have to work out the various stages and phases that you'll need to go through along the way and prepare for each one of them. If you're not naturally motivated, keep the targets small and achievable. But it really is important to ensure you collect the resources to accomplish the various steps. If you have performed that particular task before, you may already have the resources, or at least know where to get them from. If not, ask someone who has already succeeded. When you have got this far, the next stage is obvious. Yes. You have to take the first step. That's not quite all there is to it, though. The final thing is to remember to keep track of what you've accomplished. In other words, be sure to maintain a progress log. That way, you can look back at your previous small successes and watch your progress along the way to
to achieving your goal. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part three. Part three. You will hear two students discussing a science project. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. Hi, Julia. Hi, Bob. Thought about the science project yet? Which one? The presentations are scheduled for next month. The experiments that you and I are working on to demonstrate density, buoyancy and the compression of gases. That'll be complicated. Well, it's not supposed to be. It'll be part of the Making Science Simple series that's being showcased next year, and we have to be ready to demonstrate by the end of next week. Oh, well, simple, you say? Yes, not just the concept, but the materials too. We have to use cheap, readily available common items. Expensive lab equipment is out of the question. I remember something about using recycled or throwaway items if possible. Anything portable that we can bring into the lab? That's right. Well, any ideas for the project? What about the classic Cartesian diver? Is that the same as a Cartesian devil? The invention named after the famous French physicist René Descartes? Yes. A long time ago, superstitious people labelled it that because they couldn't comprehend the scientific principles it demonstrated. They thought it was black magic. How shall we do it? By keeping it as simple, transparent and economical as possible. So, to start with... Open your pencil case and let's have a look. Hmm, you haven't got any... Any what? Paper clips. Oh, there are lots of them in the bottom of my bag. They slip off my papers and collect in the bottom. Look, here's half a dozen. But they're all big metal ones. I want little ones. Small, vinyl-covered, multicoloured ones. Oh, I've got one or two of them, too. Great, and if we look around, especially on the floor, we're bound to find a few more. See? Here. What else do we need? A small rubber band. Well, I've got one of those in my pocket. No, not that kind. Let's go and ask Tara. Why? Those really small coloured bands for making ponytails are ideal. Hey, Tara. Yes. Have you got any spare rubber bands, like the ones you fasten your hair with? Oh, heaps. A whole packet full. Help yourselves. Terrific. So far, it hasn't cost us anything. What now? Let's go and rummage through the recycling bins beside Joe's Mini Market. What for? We want a two-litre plastic soft drink bottle with lid. Hey, I draw the line at sorting through other people's rubbish. And we're also not likely to find one with a lid. Well, go into the store and buy two litres of soft drink. What flavour? It doesn't matter what kind of drink you get. Just make sure it comes in a clear PET bottle. Where are you going? To the cafeteria behind the resource centre. What for? I'm after some straws. I can get them from the shop when I buy the drink. No, I've seen theirs. They're the waxed paper ones. We need clear plastic. And I know they've got them in the cafeteria. I'll also see if I can get a tall plastic cup from there. Good luck. Meet you back here in five minutes. Maybe longer, because I want to go over to my locker and get a wire coat hanger. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30.
Now listen and answer questions 26 to 30. Right. Have we got everything now? I think so. I've got extras of most things, so don't worry if this doesn't work first time. OK. Assembly. Step one. Take a straw and fold it in two. No, not like that. These plastic ones are quite hard to fold. Try pinching it in the middle. That should make it easier to bend. You may even have to bite it, but not too hard. You want a sharp crease, but you don't want to break it. How's this? Good. Now, second step. Wrap a rubber band several times around the ends to hold them together. Then? Add weight to the diver. So, this straw is the diver? Yes. See how I'm pulling the outside end of a paperclip out a bit? Now, hook the part I bent out into the rubber band that's holding the straw together. No, not that way. It'll fall off. That's right. Turn it over. Now, hook two or three more paper clips on. It's hard to say how many we'll need. The idea is to get the diver to be almost all the way submerged, but not quite. We can put it in this tall cup of water to test it. Hmm. What do you think? Too buoyant? Add another paper clip? I think so. OK, on to the next step. Have you got the empty bottle? Not quite. What do you mean? Well, it's not quite empty. Pour some into this cup for later. Good. Now, fill the bottle with water all the way to the top and we'll gently lower the diver in. Great. Now put the cap back on. And then? The final step is the demonstration of our experiment. You will see that when I squeeze the bottle, the diver sinks. And when I let it go, the diver rises. When you squeeze, the air bubble trapped in the straw compresses and the water rushes in, making it heavier, so it sinks. And the reverse happens when you release the bottle. What's the coat hanger for? Oh, that. If our experiment didn't work the first time and our divers stayed on the bottom, we'd have had to fish it out with a piece of wire or a hook of some kind. It's best to be prepared. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part four. Part four. You will hear a lecture on volcanic activity and its effect on the atmosphere. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Good morning, everyone. In these environmental science lectures, I guess you're all used to hearing about global warming. Well, I'm here today to talk to you about one particular volcano and its effect of global cooling. I'll begin by going back a little bit in time. Towards the middle of 1991, the second largest volcanic eruption of the last century occurred in the Philippines, not far from the capital city, Manila, on the island of Luzon. Mount Pinatubo belongs to a chain of volcanoes in the area, and this was by no means its first eruption. There is evidence of eruptions from approximately 500, 3,000, and 5,500 years ago. The events of the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption began in July 1990, when a magnitude 7.8 earthquake occurred 100 kilometers northeast of the Pinatubo region. The sleeping giant was reawakened, but few people had any idea of what was in store for them. In mid-March 1991, 
many earthquakes were experienced around Mount Pinatubo, and this is when volcano scientists, or volcanologists as they are called, started their investigation of the mountain. Before the disaster, thousands of people lived in very close proximity to the mountain, and on April 2nd, small explosions from vents near the crater dusted their villages with ash. This resulted in the order for evacuations of 5,000 people later that month. Earthquakes and explosions continued to harass the residents, and on June 5th, a Level 3 alert was issued for two weeks because of the possibility of a major eruption. However, the appearance of a large amount of lava protruding from the mountain on July 7th led to the announcement of a Level 5 alert on June 9th, indicating an eruption in progress. An evacuation area within 20 kilometers of the volcano was established and this time 25,000 people were evacuated. On the following day, Clark Air Base was evacuated and the danger radius was extended to 30 kilometers from the volcano, resulting in the total evacuation of 58,000 people. On June 15th, just after midday, the eruption of Mount Pinatubo commenced and lasted for nine hours causing numerous major earthquakes due to the collapse of the land at the top of the mountain and the creation of a huge caldera. What's a caldera, I hear you say? Well, it's obvious, really. With a huge eruption such as this, where enormous amounts of material have exploded into the air, the summit falls into what is now an empty chamber and thus forms a large crater. As luck would have it, as the eruption was taking place, a tropical storm was passing just to the northeast of Mount Pinatubo, bringing a lot of rainfall to the area. The dust and cinders that had been thrown up into the atmosphere combined with the water vapor from the storm to cause a rainfall of tephra that fell across the whole island of Luzon. Most of the people who perished during the eruption did so because of the weight of the ash collapsing roofs and killing the occupants of the houses. If it hadn't been for that passing storm, the death toll would certainly have been much lower. But that's not all. Besides the ash, Mount Pinatubo expelled between 15 and 30 million tons of sulfur dioxide gas. Can you guess what happened next? Yes, the sulfur dioxide mixed with water and oxygen in the atmosphere to become sulfuric acid, which is a major contributor to ozone reduction. The eruption plume from Mount Pinatubo reached high into the atmosphere attaining an altitude of 34 kilometers, and the resulting aerosol cloud spread around the Earth in two weeks and had covered the planet within a year. During the years 1992 and 1993, the ozone hole situated over Antarctica reached an unprecedented size. The cooling effects of this cloud over the Earth were remarkable. It reduced global temperatures considerably. In the United States, for example, we experienced our third coldest and third wettest summer in 77 years during 1992. That is the end of part four. I have half a minute to check your answers. ตรงตรงพาร์ทเอ่อมันมันมีพาร์ทหนึ่งครับลืมไปแล้วครับพาร์ทไหนมันบอกว่ามันมันพูดคําตอบทุกข้อครับแล้วมันพูดให้งงครับพาร์ทสองหรือเปล่าหรือพาร์ทสามมันแบบว่าพูดมันพูดคําตอบหมดเลยทุกข้อครับแล้วก็แล้วก็พูดยาวมากครับแบบตัวที่แบบมีไม่กี่ข้อก็พูดยาวอืมไม่น่าเป็นพาร์ทสองพาร์ทสองพี่ทันเยอะโอเคแป๊บหนึ่งเราไล่เช็คก่อนก็ได้ครับหนึ่งสองสามสี่ห้าหกเจ็ดแปดเก้าสิบสิบข้อแรกได้ไหมได้ไหมเนาะอันนี้มีหลายเวอร์ชันในการตอบแต่จริงๆไม่ต้องดิฟซีเรียสนะครับขอให้แบบฟิกซ์คำตอบได้ก็บินโกละสิบเอ็ดสิบสอง positive thinking positive thought น่าจะ thinking อะไร
successful negative outcomes in how we search for the language happiness appropriate work out like the resources that's it you should think i'm sick yeah for me which i use a progress meaning a b b straw rubber band paper clips caps is heavier that's it by this i'm sick at Five thousand and five hundred years ago, July nineteen ninety, mid March nineteen ninety one. Part C, we have done. What? I'm doing. I'm not done. 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 ยังยับยังไม่เสร็จแล้วแล้วก็มันก็พูดไปแล้วอือฮะเป็นไงได้คะแนนถึงสามสิบห้าหรือยังยังครับก็พาสี่นี่ยากเหรอครับมันเร็วมากพาสี่ก็บอกแล้วมันเป็นแอดวานตัวนี้เพราะฉะนั้นอย่าไปดูแต่จริงๆข้อสอบเหมือนคัมบริดนะครับแต่ว่าถ้าอยากฝึกหูเนี่ยให้มันทําพวกนี้เอาคือจะถามอยู่ว่าไอ้โควิดเนี่ยสมมติเราเราเทสเนี่ยมันต้องขึ้นตรงไหนอ่ะตรวจเจนอ่าใช่ผมยังไม่เคยตรวจเลยครับเพราะว่ายังไม่เคยออกจากบ้านเลยครับสองตัวใช่ไหมมันจะมีซีทีแล้วก็เอชถ้าเกิดว่าซีก็คืออ่ะทำติงนะครับเดี๋ยวครับพี่ว่ากันไม่ใช่หรอกเพราะว่าเพราะว่ามอสั่งให้ตรวจตอนนี้คือมันเป็นอ่าโอเมกันก็คือออนไลน์ไปก่อนถูกไหมครับก็ถูกแล้วที่เรดาร์ไม่ไปไม่ไปโรงเรียนถูกไหมใช่ครับแต่ว่าแต่ว่าเหมือนเขาก็แยกเป็นออนไลน์เป็นออนไลน์เหมือนเดิมครับคนไปโรงเรียนได้หมายถึงว่าก็คือให้เลือกแล้วก็เขาก็แฮนด์เดิลเป็นสองแทร็กเหมือนเดิมอย่างนี้เหรอใช่ครับแต่ว่าถ้าถ้าคนที่เรียนออนไลน์คือเหมือนเหมือนไม่ได้เรียนครับเพราะว่าผมว่าพอเขาแยกออนไลน์ออนไลน์เขาเขาจับเรียนรวมกันครับแต่ว่าแต่บาบางวิชาเขาไม่ได้แชร์หน้าจอครับบางวิชาเขาเอาโทรศัพท์ตั้งกล้องครับแล้วก็กระดานก็มองอะไรไม่เห็นเลยก็แสดงว่าอยู่อ่ะอ่าอยู่เรียนออนไลน์ก็เหมือนไม่ได้เรียนอย่างนี้เหรอประมาณนั้นครับรู้สึกอย่างนั้นได้สามารถรู้สึกอย่างนั้นได้ใช่ไหมฮะโอเคงั้นคือไม่เป็นไรไม่มีเสียงแล้วก็ไม่มีภาพเลยก็เหมือนไม่ได้เรียนนะดีถูกไหมเพราะมันต้องเป็นออนไลน์แทร็กถ้าเป็นออนไลน์ก็ออนไลน์แทร็กเดียวนะพี่คิดว่ามันมันเราต้องเข้าใจก่อนว่าเอ่อตัวครูเขาก็ไม่จําเป็นต้องมานั่งมอนิเตอร์สองตัวมันปวดหัวถูกไหมอ่ะลองนึกนะว่าถ้าเกิดว่ายูไปสอนยูต้องดูทั้งออนไลน์อินคลาสปวดหัวปะหมายถึงว่ามันก็เป็นไปได้ที่เขาจะเอ่อโฟกัสที่ตัวเบนอ่าแล้วจะว่าแต่ว่าไอ้ก็ก็สติ๊กมหาลัยก็คืออวอร์หมายถึงมันก็ขึ้นอยู่กับคำสั่งอะเนาะเพราะฉะนั้นอวอร์สั่งให้อ่าออนไลน์เพราะฉะนั้นไม่มีสิทธิ์ไปเถียงเขาก็ดีละอืมก็ออนไลน์ไปก่อนตอนนี้อืมสั่งข้าวมากินอะไรอย่างเงี้ยชั่วไปเสร็จได้ยังตรวจเสร็จแล้วครับโอเคงั้นพี่ทำดิสคัสต่อนะพร้อมนะครับอยู่ไปดูเองได้นะครับยูเซิร์ชคำว่าเดทเดทวันนี้อ่ะมันก็ขึ้นแหละนะครับแต่พี่พี่อยากให้เรามานั่งฝึกด้วยนะเพราะว่ามันมันยากไม่ใช่อะไรเรา
ือเราเราเราเราซ้อมรีรันได้แต่ว่าพอเราจัดทามิ่งอ่ะมันสำคัญนะครับอ่ะวันนี้น่าสนใจมากก็คือเป็น environmental environment essays okay like uh, I have list นะครับแล้วก็มีสองเว็บที่เอามา alright are you ready for the first question here เดี๋ยวเราอ่านจดนะครับแต่ว่าพี่อาจจะพี่ไม่ค่อยอินเท่าไหร่นะเรื่องพวกนี้ให้อยู่ดิสกัสไปแบบเยอะๆเรื่องผมก็ไม่ถนัดนะครับยากมันยากตรงที่แบบว่าเพราะไอไม่ค่อยรู้เรื่องเรื่องแบบมันเป็นรีเสิร์ชที่ค่อนข้างแบบอันนั้นต้องแบบเอาเอาวิทยาศาสตร์มาพูดนะแล้วบอกว่ามันเป็นเรื่องทางวิทยาศาสตร์เออมันค่อนข้างที่แบบว่าแฟนชาสติกนิดนึงถ้าอยู่ Work นะครับเอ้าหายเลยครับหนึ่งนะอืม let's say ว่า edit home screen ก่อนครับหนึ่งครับอันนี้คือ s writing อะไรนะเดี๋ยวส่งไปในวายก่อน Class. ถ้า negative impact อันนี้พอวันนึกออกแต่ว่าถ้าเชนจนี้คือคือไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ฆ่าสัตว์นะก็ไม่ทำลายธรรมชาติแบบร้อยเปอร์เซ็นเลยเหรอครับ Activity has has a negative has has a negative on plants and animals around the world Yes I do Ah yes it is true right Some people think that it could be um could not be changed while others believe actions can be taken to bring about a change Action อ๋อหมายถึงว่าให้ action ในที่นี้คือ solutions นะครับ solutions okay ยากจังเลยนะฮะอาจารย์เพราะพี่จะนิ่งนิ่งเพราะถ้าเราไม่รู้เราต้องนิ่งไว้ก่อนยันโยนความผิดไปให้เรดาร์แล้วแล่นเออ honestly human activities such as deforestation or hunting animals have a negative on plants and animals like um for example like deforest firstly uh deforestation when this um kind of activity happens when people um I mean when the carriers of loggings are Increasing, what will happen is that uh, more and more trees will be destroyed, and um, habitats, yeah, in, you know, including um, animals' habitats, would be destroyed as well. So this has uh, a detrimental effect on uh, wildlife animals because they, uh, there, there is a high probability of um, seeing more. You know, like mm, endangered animals, yeah, and they are going to be easily extinct if they uh, have no habitat habitats to leave. Additionally, um, it is quite necessary to hunt um, animals to like um, for our subsistence. Like I mean, for humans' lives, you know, just um, hunt them for eating, for consuming, and for Um, selling, but in some cases, I think it's uh, this thing. This activity is unnecessary. That is that uh, we um, hunt or we kill um, an elephant, which is a big or it, it, it's um, an enormous animal. We kill them to um, get an ivory and you know, to, to sell illegally. Like it, it's um, similar to. Gone running and which is illegitimate. Uh, um, so 
that's why people believe that um, this cannot be changed because it's uh, as these activities are are uh, are taken like nationwide and not in not uh, a group of people in just one country, but it happens throughout the world. Yeah, so this is why people believe like this. But um, on the other hand, some people claim that um, th there are actions that can be taken to bring about a change. There are a solution to cope or to handle with this problem. Uh, according to my perspectives, I think like um, the government can uh, imp implement a policy of uh, punishing uh, these people who like commit this kind of thing like I mean who, who are committed or who are determined to uh, destroy uh, environments uh, like punishments I mean like uh, they might be sentenced for 30 or 40 years incarceration uh, yeah I think that's uh, that's one of the solution that it's effective and another solution, I think this is quite uh, strange and this might be too fatal, but um, it actually happens in some countries. And in some, uh, in some countries, I cannot remember exactly what country, but um, in this country, they have a law. Like it's a law enforcement to you know, directly uh, execute the, the uh, these guilty people who yeah who have done uh, this kind of thing yeah mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. negative right right okay I'm going to go just only like uh, uh, when it comes to uh, write an essays right so for this one would be like this is both real and give your own opinion. So first of all, I'm going to suggest that you need to maybe just plan for five essay paragraph just because we've been writing. I mean, you have written um, four, four paragraphs already, right? So I would suggest that you can change to the next level of writing uh, with five essay paragraph would be the first one is introduction. The second one, uh, maybe three value paragraph would be like uh, negative effects or how could we change for that? And what is your opinion in, uh, in the third paragraph? And that is the reason why, and you have to summary, uh, summarize or even make a summary on your conclusion here, right? And anyway, for this kind of topic, I would say that environment topic should be researched beforehand just because some kind of things has been changed from time to time and some, some kind of new knowledge arising from time to time too. I mean, for example, like environmental um, impact during this time with COVID-19 might be changed a bit, things like that. They have, ah, he got, may someone discuss that, poem and yeah, they have got, yon quam pit and what behind radar, okay, man? I think we don't to read it, it's a topic that is the most important thing, it's an essay, it's an essay, okay, ba? So, I don't want to read it, because it's an export idea, that will work in it. But it's not okay. Moving to the next one, actually. It is often said that government spend too much on projects to protect why are the problems that are more important. I need particular help. <laughs> then I spend too much on project. Protect a right, then you need to protect environment. Like. Mm. 
I completely disagree. Like, and I also oppose what uh, people often say that the governments spend too much on projects, like to protect the um, or to sustain um, the environment, while the other problems are more important, and the government should like support or should help people in the other problems. But um, according to my according to my opinion. I, I believe that uh, environment is the most important um, thing that we should take in consideration, like because it's uh, it's nature and as um, this um, period is um, a modern era, right? And in this generation, there are lots of technologies that can have uh, you know uh, like modern technologies like. In the, in the current day, they have a, a direct uh, effect to the environment, like such as uh, elect, not electronic, uh, vehicles, yeah, such as cars or motorcycles or buses, yeah. These vehicles emit um, or release a carbon dioxide, which is um, the, the hazardous gas, and this harms the ozone layer on the sky so this is um the main thing that we should consider because mo the most importantly is um these gases i mean these dangerous gases cause like it's uh the underlying cause of um global warming it makes our our like uh the i mean it causes climate change as well and also like makes the temperature higher and higher abnormally so this um and how is it dangerous yeah it is absolutely dangerous because it's um like you know when when like when it comes to cli climate change the like i would say i think it's related to a pandemic as well like if um the climate changes like from hot temperature to low temperature that will make um that that will cause like the 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 tiny living things like bacteria or viruses to spread more rapidly because like covid-19 crisis like during covid-19 crisis um in some countries that suffer from um low very low temperature like russia or in european countries these countries suffer from COVID-19 the most because the, the, the temperature is so low, right? And then the, the, the disease can be widespread so quickly. So that's one of the thing. And um, <laughs> really, okay, so I'm like, so much has. <laughs> Human activities, actually, right? Okay. So for this question, right, um, so about like consensus or even debatable between the responsibility of a government should spend toward how, how they can protect such a good environment or try to prevent from um, deteriorating, I mean, um, destroying from the environment, right? And to me, I think um, it's a bit uh, let's say like um, um, it's a bit uh, a topic that's controversial for a big country, especially in the uh, UK, US, or in the Western country that they have uh, like a, you know a power to do that, but they ignore a bit uh, that they let it happen in the you know in the bad way, things like that. So um, in order to make sure that your essay might be reaching to the expected idea or even uh, you know, aspect perspective that examiner will judge you with a, an impressive score. So you need to decide uh, what flaws or even mistake or what kind of like, uh, um, you know, action that government missed to prevent such, um, you know, a good environment. Yeah. That's it. Nah, and if you guys hi like and have a pick up put me ไม่แน่ใจเหมือนกันเรื่องนี้มันเป็นเรื่องที่ intensive พอสมควรนะครับแต่ว่าเรื่องนี้ถ้าจะเขียนเอาจริงๆเนี่ยให้อยู่คิ
ให้อ่าจะบอกไว้ไงเดียประมาณว่าเดี๋ยวนี้เนี่ยด้วยความที่แบบว่า environment เนี่ยมันมีปัญหานะครับแล้วก็คนที่มี authority ในการจัดการเนี่ยต้อง handle อย่างไรบ้างนะครับ let's say ต่อครับยากขึ้นนะยากไหมฮะยากอยู่เราบอกว่าง่ายคือแบบคนสอนตกใจเลยฮะ Some people think that the best way to solve global global warming here is to increase uh, the cost of fuel. Uh -huh. To what extent do you agree or disagree? อันนี้คือต้องคุยเรื่อง Oh, the one renewable energy. เข้าใจว่า renewable energy เนาะครับพลังงานมันกลับมาใช้ใหม่ได้มันมีอะไรบ้างผมผมจะไม่รู้เลยพวกแกดินหนึ่งน้ำน้ำได้ไหมไม่รู้เหมือนกันพลังงานเหรอเออ renewable energy ก็เราอาจจะพูดว่าเป็นลักษณะของไม่ทราบเหมือนกันอันนี้ตาละตัวติวเตอร์ก็ไม่รู้เหมือนกันว่าไม่ได้เช็คเลยข้อมูลพวกนี้มันไกลเนาะเด็กสายวิทย์ก็อาจจะยังไม่รู้อะเพราะมันเป็นแบบ specific นิดหนึ่งถูกไหมเพิ่มราคาน้ำมันนะครับถ้าเพิ่มราคาเชื้อเพิ่มก็ the best way to solve agree or disagree I think I disagree but you need to explain the reason why Mm. Like I would say, I partially agree with this, but uh, first of all, I would explain both views. Like uh, these, the, these both views are my own perspectives between why, like it helps, uh, it, it partially helps to solve global warming effects, or like, but. Another way, it might not be uh, possible to handle this problem. Okay, um, let's start with the first one. Like, as I said, it's partially, yeah, it it partially helps um to handle with uh, the global warming because uh we we need the first thing that we need to know is that what is the cause of global warming or what is the cause of um the of, of destroying. Environments like so. One of the main thing is vehicle, like or technology. So first thing that is that uh, they are produced or manufactured from automobile um, industry, and then these vehicles uh, release parts of those gases. Right. So first thing it, it uses fuels. So if we if the governments. Um, increase the cost of fuels. Um, ordinary people like us will like will, will will be possibly frustrated, and we will like we will not uh, use our cars like so often. We might park it, and like we we might park our cars like for a long time, then use buses or use taxi. Instead, and that means that um, the 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 usage of cars will decrease. Like, like I mean, the amount of cars that you will see in um on, on roads, or you know, it's a uh, it reduces the, the problem of traffic jam as well. Like because people will tend to use taxis, they will, yeah, or. Use a, a public transit instead, but uh, on the other hand, in some developing countries, in cases of economic upturn, in in some countries they are prosperous, and um, so you know it, it, as the the economy is getting better and people are becoming <laughs> richer and affluent. So they just um, don't pay attention to the cost of fuels because um, you know, it's uh, it's impossible to let 
every humans, everyone to use just public transit because it's uh, really necessary to use vehicles in this modern era. It's not like the past time that we use a, a, a carriage to travel in a way. So I think um, some people might think it's a uh, is it necessary to like to 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 pay attention to the cost of fuel. Yeah. I see your point. So for this for this kind of question, right? The best way to solve, meaning that you need to find um you know practical or possible solutions to um to solve this is global warming or even try to find something right for that way, right? So um, the essay just mentioned um, increasing the cost of, um, you know, petrol or fuel here, just because it is an alternative way to do so. So uh, I would say that for this question, you need to defend, or if you disagree, you need to find, um, you know, practical solutions that can be solved, uh, which is not, penetrate humans um, convenience or comfortability in, in their life, right? So it might um, develop your essay into the, I mean, step by step, for example, like firstly, secondly, thirdly, things like that. And I would suggest that for the environment topic essays, you need to come up with five paragraph essays. มันจะเขียนเป็น problem solving โอเคนะนะโอเคอ่ะให้อยู่ให้อยู่
่เป็นยังไงบ้างได้ไหมอ้าวกีบไปเอาขนมมาอะไรนะกีบไปเอาขนมอ๋อโอเคโอเคอยู่บ้านสบายดีไหมเนี่ยไม่เบื่อใช่ป่ะโอเคนะแฮปปงแฮปปี้ก็ออนไลน์ก็ดีละยูรู้สึกว่าอินกับการเรียนออนไลน์ไหมหรือว่าไม่ชอบชอบครับสาวเนาะไม่ชอบไปโรงเรียนชอบเรียนอยู่บ้าน alright อ่ะทีนี้ไอสกิปไปหลายข้อเหมือนกันไม่เป็นไรก็คือเท่าที่มีอันนี้รันข้อผิดคิดว่านะ Alright, for this question, right? Some people think an international car-free day is an effective way to reduce air pollution. Others think there are more effective ways to do this. So you need to discuss both sides and give your own opinion here. ก็คือไม่ให้ขับรถนี่นะครับครับ Car-free day แปลว่าอะไรอ่ะเหมือนว่าบอกว่าหลายยานมาผ่านนะมันแค่บอกว่าลดลดการใช้ใช้ยานพาหนะครับอืมผมว่ามันน่าจะว่าถ้ามันมีมันคงมีทั้งปีอะครับมันน่าจะมีวันสองวันเนี่ยเหมือนแบบวันวันแบบวันเลิกบุหรี่อะมันก็มีวันเดียวครับมันก็ไม่ช่วยอืมเออเอาคุณเมย์ I don't think that international car free day is the effective plan to um help to sustain the environment by reducing um the effects of global warming so um to think about one of the best reason is that um it's impossible to implement this uh kind of policy To offer to everyone around the world for a whole year, so it doesn't exist for the entire year. So it it might happen like this day might come up for like one or two days or three days. I don't know exactly, but I'm sure that yeah, it's not a whole year, so it's not effective any anyway. And um also, um another reason is that uh. Yeah, although people um are discouraged, or pe- if people stop using vehicles in these days, but uh, if if it goes beyond these days, we after these days, people will like do the same. They will normally use their cars or vehicles the 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 same as they have done before, like uh. And according to my perspective, I think there there are more effective ways, and there are more um, solutions that are practical and also useful. So directly tackle these um, kind of problems is that uh, I've heard like at the news of um, Tesla company, yeah, Tesla company, which is the company. I, I I I'm not sure that it is founded by Elon Musk or not, but uh, this company has recently introduced um, the electronic cars, yeah, or electric cars, yeah, electric cars. It's uh, the car that doesn't use fuels and it doesn't consume lots of um, energy, and um, also it's. Um, It, I think it can generate uh, a renewable energy like electricity. You know, it it's, um, mainly uses um, electricity as the energy to accelerate um, the, the engine uh, to move forward. I think this is quite useful because um, if these electric cars have been, yeah, if these um, electric cars are more widespread throughout the world. More and more people will be influenced and convinced to use uh, new types of vehicles. Or well, I would say this is kind of um, a modern mode of transportation, and this is the latest type of transportation that um, the world hasn't had before. Yeah, 
Yeah. Mm. Uh, furthermore, another solution is that uh, these cars should be uh, inexpensive. It, it, I would say it should be affordable. People should have enough budget to buy it. So that's a uh, cost. Um, also influences people to um, afford that because if it's too expensive, few people will buy it because not every countries are developed because um, global warming doesn't happen to like to, to, to just one particular country. But this phenomenon just happens throughout the world. <laughs> so we, we should like, um, cooperate with each other by like I, I would say uh, uh, compromising by like or making an agreement uh, no, agreement yeah by reducing the cost a little bit so fit uh, the expectation of um, a population from each country I see Right, so for this quick right, discuss both sides and give your own opinion. So once we come up with five essays paragraph, right, the first one is that we have to talk about um, the significance of international car free, that is, would be one of the effective way to reduce air pollution or not. If not, what is the impact to it on this? So you just mentioned a variety of aspects that um, we cannot um, you know, effectively control the way that people should use a car or prevent from using a car, right? Just because lots of limitation that we have to discuss together. And I think other, other ways that can be implemented or even raised into, um, you know, awareness or take into consideration here, uh, for example, like try to um, build something that is related to uh, prevention here would be um, suggested solution here. And I think your own opinion here is all about like you need to have a reflection to it. Um, how would be an effective approach to it, um, you know, prevention for this kind of problem? And that's all. Nah. Uh, ฉะนั้นถ้าบอกว่าง่ายคือไม่ได้เรียนอ่ะใจเย็นๆครับพี่จะเป็นคนไกด์อย่างเดียวนะครับวันนี้พี่พี่มิคุยเพราะพี่รู้สึกว่าแบบไม่ใช่พี่คุยนะเดี๋ยวมันจะตีกันนะครับอ่าเพราะว่ามันต้องอ่านหนังสือไปก่อน that's it ไปครับอ่ะทีนี้อ่าธนาธรธนาธรอ่าผลเป็นบวกหรออ๋อเพิ่งกลับมาจากต่างประเทศ alright why มาครับกลับไปที่ของเราต่อ Wire, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> some people, some people consider global warming to be the most environmental problem which we have at the moment. Others believe that deforestation has a more <laughs> on our world. Mm -hmm. Discuss both way, do you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, discuss both way, man. Like, what, what, man? Hey, tap my thumb like that. It has some effect. It will create global warming. What? Lose it. Tap my thumb like that. Yes, right. It's hot, right? Is it? I don't know. It's hot. 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 มันมันทำให้เกิดซูนามิได้อะมันทำให้เกิดซูนามิได้อะใช่ครับซูนามิเกี่ยวข้องกับเราเบาวอมิ่งไหมต้องโยงขนาดนั้นเลยเหรอปวดหัวเพราะเป็นเด็กวิทยาศาสตร์นะฮะมันมันก็มันก็สำคัญเท่ากันนะใช่ไหมก็จะจะบอกว่าโกโบมันมีมันสำคัญกว่า
ตัดไม้ทำลายป่ายังไงครับต้องเอาอะไรมาเทียบสักอย่างใช่ไหมครับแล้วมันก็สําคัญนะครูก็ disposable wheel Uh, to my, um, I think some people say that global warming is um, more important than deforestation. Um, I think these people think like this because they might think that global warming is the uh, environmental problem that can happen easily. What I mean by that is, it is difficult to control. And to tackle uh, the, the the global warming problem, uh, one main reason is that uh, the the real cause or the underlying causes of uh, triggering global warming is using vehicles or, or also littering uh, trash in the in the sea or in the ocean. But um, firstly. I I would direct to the the cause which is using vehicles. As I said, um, most of people believe that uh, using the like stopping people from using vehicles are impossible because as in this modern era, like vehicles are the most important, not the most important, but yeah, it is necessary to use vehicles. Because um, humans cannot um, leave without uh, traveling or um, the, using any mode of transportation, so it is quite necessary. So this is why they might think that um, uh, it is difficult to try, like you know, to to try to stop from the cause. I mean, to stop. The roots of the problem by like stopping people from using vehicles, but um, however, more and more people like like it's kind of debatable uh, speech or something. And like some some people controversially say that um, deforestation is more important because um, it's more devastating impacts. Uh, these people might um, refer to the activity of humans, like, um, for example, in Thailand, like there, um, the, the this problem happens so frequently in some countries, including in Thailand as well. Like, so some people who do some activities like logging careers, they try to cut the trees down illegally. But one main thing is that uh, the authorities. That uh, have a power to punish these people, they I would say they compromise uh, with them. They they, you know, they just make a illegitimate agreements with them by um, bribe by uh, like bribery or something like that or like some and that causes more and more guilty people to uh, repeatedly take these. Action again and again because um police <laughs> doesn't arrest them, <laughs> you know. Like, so uh, yeah, this is one another um view points. Yeah, point point of view that uh, they think that deforestation is more important. But um, personally, I suggest that these two problems are equally important. These, yeah, you know, these are significant as the same. So we can, so we cannot ignore one of them. So we should like take both of them in consideration. Yeah. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. Discuss both ways. If you said that it is equally important, so meaning that in each paragraph have to support the evidence or even supporting detail. In the same way, right? So it doesn't have to outweigh the two. I mean, I mean that you 
um, you think that it is very important, meaning that you go in the same way. This is my suggestion for you writing a essay for this topic. Okay, that's it. My heart, don't don't. So, what I'll have no can book tongue paragraph chin lung let song. Part like like and so what please send I want to know when do that for song and yeah, that which I equally important that. But I'm going to the cool tone it there. Hmm, that's it. What who are now? I keep any yam. That's it loud. Ginger, I don't know about what. แต่ก็ต้องเขียนนะต้องลองเขียนสักเรื่องหนึ่งก็ยังดีนะครับสำหรับ environment ไม่เป็นไรตัวฮันเนาส่งไปให้ละถ้ามีเวลาว่างๆจริงๆมันสามารถเขียนได้อยู่แล้วนะครับแต่ว่า at least ที่เขียนให้ดูก็คือสักเรื่องหนึ่งก็ยังดี alright okay moving to next question here the government the government and the government the government should reduce the amount of money spent on local environmental problems And instead, increase funding into urgent and more threatening issues such as global warming. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I agree that the the government should um fund should should provide a funding to global warming. Instead of uh, supporting local environmental problems a lot, one main reason is that uh, global warming is the phenomenon that uh, has a powerful impact on you know the every areas of the earth or of the world. So it's uh, affects almost every nations of the world. It's uh it's going to be better if the government. From each countries, if they try to cooperate to each other, I mean, they 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 try to collaborate, collaboratively work together, trying to tackle this, like you know, trying to directly tackle this problem instead of um, paying attention to just local environmental problems. Uh, additionally, in a in a, in a local area, instead of Like paying more money or spending more money to help the the lo local areas for uh, the environmental problem, I think the, the government should implement uh, the policy, or they should offer some policies to um, their population, to their local people about um, like reserving, not yeah, reserving animals, wildlife animals, or like. Um, preserving environments as well, like it's it's kind of voluntary campaign. It's uh it's kind of like it's kind of thing that the the government should convince them and uh, incentivize uh local people to be willing to preserve and to help the government to like you know to 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 preserve the environments. Yeah, I see. That's it. อันนี้เนี่ยถามว่าอะไรอ่ะ For this question is all about like uh, the government should reduce mm -hmm. increase funding global warming. Mm -hmm. um, I think once you have to write for this for this topic, so you need to you need to see the you know the Let's say evidence of global warming that is um, really uh, need to take an action in the present time or not. So if other aspect, not just only for uh, global warming, right? For example, like um, um, deforestation or hunting, animal hunting, things like that might be a key to uh, to raise some concerns uh, to what our world or society. So it should should tackle. Equally too. I mean, it's, it doesn't mean that it should go for the global warming. But if in case that a global warming should be the the biggest issue here, yes, I do agree that um, the government should spend on it in this way. Nah, Brahman, but 
ข้อนี้มันยากอันนี้คือ agree disagree ก็คือเปิดไปทางไหนก็ไปทางนั้นนะครับ that's it moving to next one would be with increasing population and ever growing urban centers many countries are losing losing natural beauty spot and it i m p l e t e d what benefits are there to protect places and natural beauty and then how can this be solved โอ้โหเดี๋ยวได้บอกว่าปวดหัวไหมปวดหัวที่สุดลานะครับทุกวันจันทร์อังคารอืมเป็นเป็นปวดสะนะครับคงก็ทำไมเราต้องเราลองรักษาสถานที่ตรงนี้ด้วยทำไมเดี๋ยวถามว่าทำไมต้องรักษาใช่ไหมใช่ครับก็เป็นแบบ asset นะ reflect culture belief อะไร something พวกนี้ไอ้อันนี้อันนี้ยากจริงครับยากไหมสกิปไหมอ๋ออันนี้อันนี้ผมนึกไอเดียไม่ออกจริงครับว่า natural beauty spot จะจะ preserve ทำไม natural beauty spot meaning that it It's not just like uh, the famous among tourist uh, uh, tourist uh, spot or tourist destination, but I would say that it's all about like uh, it can be reflect that culture or even a community that we have preserved in order to make sure that they're gonna have an ex an existent um, toward this kind of beauty, a natural beauty spot. Okay. Mm. I think it's. Uh, I think the benefit of protecting these places um, are like the the like causing on assets throughout um, <laughs> several generations. I mean, like it's kind of treasure of each country. Oh, like for example, um, Stonehenge. Yeah, this is the place. Yeah, this is. The, the popular and famous place in um, the UK. Yeah, I have visited this place before. Uh, that was so picturesque and so beautiful. Yeah, but uh, but there is a mysterious like background behind um, this this place because uh, there are, like Stonehenge is like there are. Around, I, I cannot remember exactly the about the amount of rocks that located um, next to each other, like in in uh, in so in a circle, and it encircles one of the rock inside them. Mm. Yeah, it's a uh, it's it's kind of natural beauty spot as well, and the benefit is that. Uh, If we keep preserving it, uh, young uh, people from younger generation will still uh, see it and experience it. And it's uh, it's kind of it reflects uh, the the culture and also the the spiritual beliefs. So, I think we all have a. อันนั้นนะครับที่ก็นึกไม่ออกเหมือนกัน
<laughs> I I think like we can say like um it's reflect about culture, um, diversity or even um unique, uh, natural beauty spot. That's it. That we should preserve just because it's just only a single spot that cannot be found in everywhere. That's it. And how can it, how can it be so? Just maintain or rest. Um, you know, create, implement some campaigns in order to make sure that um, um, tourists or other people need not to destroy it. That's it. Put who allow ah? Put who me? If you put who are by cost sick, I will. You to break, man. To break, walk down, nah. Kid gone, like. Oh, sorry, what happened? Although many people were wear the public part, this place could be better used for other purpose, purposes such as residential areas for the ever growing population or to develop business or boost economy. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this? Oh, <coughs> so what now? Um, uh, I, I, I completely, I, I think I completely disagree that public parks that lots of people value should be um, supplanted by um, firms or residential areas for people to leave. Um, one of the main reason is like public public park is the place for people to uh, be relaxed. I mean, like it, it's a place. It's a uh, that is similar to uh, a playground. Children can come. Family can can set a picnic. Yeah, can set a picnic in the parks, and. Uh, also, like it's a it, it's a place for people to be enjoyable in their life. <laughs> so it, uh, instead of replacing it by um, other buildings, mm, it, it should be used uh, as the, the place for enjoyment. Yeah. <laughs> มันคําถามมันบอกว่าเอาโจมันคําถามมันบอกว่าเอาโจมันคําถามมันบอกว่าเอาโจมันคําถามมันบอกว่าเอาโจมันคําถามมันบอกว่าเอาโจมันคําถ
ทำไมเราต้องปกป้องสัตว์ใช่ไหมใช่ครับผมเอ่อ I think uh, most scientists, most of scientists, don't want to like cause these animals to be extinct, like to, I mean to preserve their original species. It's um, yeah, it's uh, I think it's important to protect animals. One of the main thing is we we can um do some research or do some experimentation by using. These animals species, like my searching about their DNA, for like you know for for the benefit of treatments in future for medical um, developments or medical technology. But like for example, uh, like um, mammals, is it mammal? Yeah, mammal. Yeah, mammals like mammal. This animal. Was extinct for like you know a million years ago, so we cannot exactly find the uh, the original species of it. So it's uh it's going to be um a a breakthrough or like you know it's a uh, it's kind of difficult for scientists or biologists to to just study about um living things in I mean. Um, territorial, uh, living things. Yeah, so that's why it's it is important. And uh, additionally, we should protect animals because animals are, um, like are the the the, the, the most important resources for human as well. What I mean by that is, it's uh, animals are food. <laughs> That we that we can hunt and consume them for uh, making us alive in every um, day life. Mm. So I suggest that we should have a solution of protecting animals by um, by anything else. <laughs> Um, punishing people who are trying to hunt animals like illegally, you know, or and and the policy. I think it's uh like we we should restrict um, the the amounts or a number of animals to be hunted every year. I think this is, this might be useful. Or and uh, and another solution is that we can. We should uh, strictly uh, restrict the endangered animals. So we should find which animals are close to extinction. Yeah. So we should uh, preserve them and try to breed that um, species of animals to be more widespread, yeah. like to um, make them in. Into an a normal stage, yeah. อันนี้ก็คือเป็นเหตุผลทั้งหมดใช่ไหมครับยากจังอยากให้เขียนนะฮะ All right, so um for for this question, right? So you can say like, do you think it is important to protect? This one would be like the reason why an important of protections here. So you need to come up with Uh, maybe a single paragraph for in, uh, for the first paragraph, okay? And then what can be measured here? I think you need to come up with the first one would be um, a cause, right? And then the possible solution, and you have to generate or support maybe a variety of possible solution to come up with your own essay here. Uh -huh, that's it. But yeah, you know, so yeah, it's a big problem solving mode, lah. Okay. หิวข้าวก็หิวข้าวนะครับอ่าลองไล่ดูนะครับมา global warming is one of the biggest biggest idea 
อืมว่าอันนี้ผมพูดไปตั้งแต่ข้อแรกๆเลยเขาบอกว่าไม่งาอันนี้ล่ะ both government and individual are spending less amount of money protecting animals and their habitat this money could be better spent dealing with fundamental issues in society such as property and health care to what extent do you agree or disagree um <laughs> มันสําคัญทั้งคู่เลยครับมันต้องเรียกว่าอะไรสําคัญกว่าครับสําคัญทั้งคู่เนาะอันนี้ it depends on each event or in a situation of that country yeah like um for example in some cases During COVID-19 outbreak, uh, poverty is a major problem that happens in uh, Thai society. So people who suffer from economic downturn, they suffer from financial issues. They should they need to undergo these difficulties uh, for a long, long time, and this is a long-term effect in uh in, in the future. Yeah, so. What uh, the government should focus currently is that they should provide a funding to help and to to that they should they should make themselves to be supportive uh to to people like to poor people or the unprivileged yeah and also to support the healthcare instead of concentrating on uh, preserving animals. Yeah, or protecting animals, uh, because for me, uh, between poverty and uh, protecting animals are like these two. These two things are equally important. But I suggest that the the government should um, help poor people first, because this uh this problem cannot be handled by individuals or just. Like or, or by ordinary people like us, it should be directly intervened by the government. Yeah, but on the other hand, in cases of protecting animals, it's a uh, it's kind of decisive moment. Like it, it's a it it's a choice and it's an option for people to choose to destroy animals' habitats or. We choose to preserve them, so this is a choice. What we can do is we, the government sh- shouldn't like uh, provide the funding or help to protect animals a lot by using lots of budget, but instead it, they they should offer or impose a uh, a strict a strict punishment as um, a warning for uh, people to not. Uh, Harm animals. Yeah, I think it's a uh, yeah. It's kind of unwillingness of people to um to to, to harm animals. Yeah, mm. so it it can be controlled. I see. It can be controlled. Oh, what? <laughs> ตามนั้นนะครับก็จริงๆแล้วมันก็เท่ากันนะ so right to me I think so um, but anyways it's kind of like uh, me uh, we can have you know raise any idea or some important aspect of the protecting animal I mean uh, should spend money on it could be better than other aspect in what way so I think we should Carefully research a bit, just because I think healthcare is important too. Yeah, mm-hmm. fundamental issues, right? Okay. Ah, ตามนั้นลองไล่ดูก่อนนะเบลเบลนิดหนึ่งเพราะปวดหัวมากเลยหลังๆใช่ปวดหัวไหมไม่นะครับ As a result of growth, a growth in some, um, what is that? 
urban centers, the environment in those cities are deteriorating. How could these issues be tackled by both of the government and individuals? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. ถ้า government นะผมยังพอนึกออกแต่ว่าถ้าจะเป็นคนปกตินะครับมันไม่มีอำนาจขนาดนั้นจุกเว้นว่าเอ่อก็อาจจะลดทิ้งขยะมากครับหมายความว่าอืมเซ่ These issues are a huge problem for every society. Like you know, as a result of growth in urban centers, as it is an urbanization in every cities, they will encounter the environmental problem for sure. But uh, I suggest there are solutions too. Like to tackle this problem, by like both the governments and individuals, they can collaborate with each other. Like I'm going to start with the government first. Like to, um, actually, the duty of the government is like is to administrate uh, the the country, right? But uh, the the government can control. Um, how do you say that? <laughs> like yeah, the government can control. Um, the residential areas, or uh, like control the the amount of vehicles usage. What I mean by that is that they can like tackle the problem air of air pollution as well. Like, uh, what they can do is, uh, for example, in New Zealand, uh, the gov the government of New Zealand has recently stamped out smoking. Mm-hmm. So, why? So why is that? Because um, smoking um, results um, that the problem of air pollution. Yeah, the, it's uh, it's quite weird, right? If if you say like this, but it actually harms the environment as well. If we keep smoking, and also when if if we uh convince people to quit smoking, that will uh reduce. The the waste, um, in forms of, um, cigarettes, like because when when they, um, finish smoking, they will like litter, anywhere, like with they will lit litter it, on the ground or, mm-hmm. like, yeah, it will scatter, uh, around the area, instead of, um, put in in the bin, so they ignore. This, so if uh if the so this is still uh one way to like yeah you know, to 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 to, uh, to tackle this problem is that we make it illegal. So this what this is what uh, the government can do. Um, in cases of individuals, yeah, like people like us, or normal people like us, population, we can we can uh, like we can generate some ideas. For uh, preserving the environment, like we, mm, for example, our individuals can um, post on uh, post uh, the knowledge on the internet, post on the websites, and try to convince people to preserve the environment, to to protect the environment, like. It's uh, the easy thing that we can do in our daily life, such as um, using recycled waste or using renewable energy. Also, 
uh, reducing the usage of water or um, necessary um, resources of um, humans yeah, that will <laughs> that might possibly uh, protect the environment from any uh, powerful impacts as well. I see. as a result of a drought in some urban centers. Good day. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm not going to do it. Move now. OK, didn't they, didn't they? Some people think that current environment, environmental issues are global problem and should therefore be dealt with by the government by others believe that these problems can be tackled by individuals. Discuss both sides and give your own opinion. Oh. <laughs> Um, personally, yeah, there, there are both views that I'm going to discuss. Um, my point of view is that uh, some people believe that the, 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 uh, the current environmental issues can of or global warming or global problem and you know, should, should be uh, eventually be dealt with uh, by the governments. But yeah, actually, they think in this way they have this kind of idea because, um, like individuals like us has um, no power and has no authority to control the whole country, but the governments they they have power, they can administer more effectively than normal people like us. Like what I mean, uh, for example, they have a budget by using our taxes to support some parts of the country, like um, preserving um, the environment or like or paying these money to some companies to um, <laughs> to stop uh, construction. In order to not destroy the environment, I think. Yeah, it, it might be possible. I think it's just case. Yeah, that. On the other hand, some accuse that um it should be dealt by individuals. Yeah, mm. it, it is a kind of idea. I think uh, people like us. I think these people might um, think deeply to the cause of the the problem of environmental issue. What I mean by that is it starts from what we do in our daily life. It starts from more and more people keep destroying um, environment unwittingly. What I mean is like, uh, for example, like so, some people who ignore or some people who don't pay attention to protecting the environment, they might keep, uh, they, they might not uh, put the trash or rubbish in, in a bin properly. They might, uh, um, mm, <laughs> save water or uh, necessary resources and that harms the environment or some when some companies they um they have a policy to like you know to, to destroy or to increase the careers of blockings because um uh, because of urbanization because of the expansion of buildings for um you know the exploitation of um, running a business 
yeah, same thing like that. So yeah, it should be tackled by individuals because if these people stop doing this, if they like, I would say, if they comprehend, like, I mean, if they fully comprehend about the the whole effects that will happen to the road, and if they trying to understand uh, that their actions are the underlying cause of the problem, they might uh, stop uh, doing that <laughs> or stop taking that kind of actions to, like, you know, there's a moral thing. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Mm. By government, I do believe that the problem can be tackled by. I think government play as a crucial role, right, to handle just because uh, lots of uh, making decision or even authority from the government should be taken into uh, action, not just only individual. But uh, let's say, like you know, we can say we can say that um, um, it should be raised some awareness among people, right, by individuals here, yeah, but uh, when it comes to take any action that uh, put into practice, I think government plays as important role for this, for this um, authority to do so, yeah. It's a kind of, uh, many people believe that many global environmental problems should be dealt with internationally rather than domestically. What is your opinion here? Um, yeah. In my opinion, I believe yeah, like, we should understand about the word global environmental problems first. So what I mean by that is global, it means that it, it covers the, the whole world. So, yeah, these problems should be dealt with in um, many international people, like, or I mean, every country should collaborate with each other, the government from every country. Yeah, because, like, as I said, this, this problem doesn't happen to just one country, but if global warming happens, it is. It is. Uh, it doesn't just happen to just one particular country, but it can be widespread nationwide. So this is a big problem. If we, um... <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. ก็มีปัญหาอะไรบ้างครับพี่นึกก่อนซึ่งมีนี่มันแทร์ไปที่อื่นได้ไหมครับได้เลยเจอไม่เกิดที่ญี่ปุ่นด้วยนี่ใช่ไหมแต่ว่าหมายถึงว่าถ้าเกิดที่ญี่ปุ่นแล้วมันแบบมันจะแพร่ไปที่ประเทศไทยประเทศอะไรแบบนี้ได้ไหมครับอืมอืมอย่าอันนี้อันนี้ไม่รู้เหมือนกันเลย That's good นะประมาณนั้นแต่ก็ยากอยู่นะยากไม่ใช่วันนี้เรื่องนี้คือนึกไอเดียไม่ออกครับไม่มีความรู้อันนี้เลยครับเลยนะอ่ะพี่ลองเช็คเราก่อนนะครับหนึ่งสองสามสี่ตั้งแต่ไล่มาเนี่ยเรื่องนี้ยากไหมครับผมว่ายากทุกข้อคือตั้งแต่หนึ่งหนึ่งจนถึงสิบไอข้อสุดท้ายอ่ะครับมันคําถามมันดูเหมือนวนไปวนมาครับมันมันคล้ายๆคล้ายๆกันใช่แต่ว่ามันเป็นแอสเปคที่แบบว่าแต่ว่ามันก็ดิฟเฟอร์เนสเปคนะหมายถึงว่าไอเดียคล้ายๆกัน global warming แต่ว่าเขาก็จะเฉดออกมาให้มันแบบพอจับคลายกันนะฮะเดี๋ยวลองไล่ดูก่อนนะฮะต้องมานั่งต่อไม่มีอะไรมากก็คืออยากให้อยู่อันนี้มันจะเป็นแบบอันนี้เอามาจาก s a t เดี๋ยวเขามานั่งว่ากันนะมันครับไม่ต้องกลัวแบนแปดได้อยู่แล้วแต่ก็จะเวอร์นิดนึงนะอยู่ต้องอดทนหน่อยโอเคปะ <laughs> <laughs> ตัวหนังสือยิ่งเล็กลงแล้วเนี่ยเออ Don't worry, don't worry. นะครับมีเยอะมากนะครับเราคุยกันยาวเลยแต่ว่าพวกนี้เนี่ยมันจะเป็นการ
การดึงไอเดียเฉยๆนะครับอ่ะเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยสำหรับทำไมไอไปไม่ได้อ่าไม่เป็นไรก็คือเดี๋ยวค่อยมาว่ากันหนึ่งสองสาม body paragraph อันนี้ไอก็จะสอนเพิ่มหน่อยหนึ่งในเรื่องของ the discussion เนี่ยก็จะมี model answer ให้หน่อยแล้วก็ดูว่าทำไมถึงได้คะแนนดีไม่ดีโอเคปะประมาณนี้โอเคเดี๋ยววันนี้ไม่เป็นไรยังไม่ต้องคัดวันนี้เอาเอสเซของเมื่อวานก่อนนะยังไม่ต้องแตะ NY นะครับเดี๋ยวเราเข้ามานั่ง discuss กันก่อนโอเค Thank you so much for today class and see you next week ครับผมอันนี้เฮ้ยทำไมไปแต่งแต้มเป็นอย่างนี้แล้วอ่ะโอเคมันไม่มีผลกับสไลด์ใช่ไหมแต่ว่ามันเป็นแค่โอเค that's it ขอบคุณครับบ๊ายบายครับสวัสดีครับ